Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. How's it going on this Wednesday, May 15th? we got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and you just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do so. You click on the link below the video and you get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter, any other handicapper over at DocSports.com. Again, real cool way to give it a try at DocSports.com, $60 free account. All you got to do is click on the link below the video. Free pick in a moment. Just want to talk about a couple of things. First, how did we do last night? We won in the NBA. I went 0-1 in Major League Baseball. And as far as the NBA is concerned, we are now 38-19. and That is 67% against the spread the last couple of months. We're up about $6,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. And I'm in NBA action again on Wednesday. It is tonight's Game 1 battle in the East. Last night, we won with Golden State. They had the huge fourth quarter, uh, scored 39 points in the fourth, outscoring Portland by 16, and went on to that 22-point win, and Portland just looked worn out, as we kind of thought they would coming off of their big Game 7 road win at Denver. Thought the line was adjusted a little bit too much for the absence of Kevin Durant, and the bottom line is, is this Golden State team is now on a 28-1 and record straight up uh, when Kevin Durant is out, Steph Curry is playing, so just keep that in mind if Durant misses any more action. Again, we are in at action in the East as we look to go to 39-19 and 19 with what will be our last 58 plays. And my NBA Eastern Conference Game 1 matchup and side is over at DocSports.com on a Wednesday morning. Don't miss out. We look to win again and go to 39-19 and 19 and be well over $6,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. More on the NBA in just a second. As far as uh, baseball is concerned, we're in action on a Wednesday. I mentioned that I did lose last night. We had a runs line play on the Red Sox. They jumped out to that 3 nothing lead and could not hang on and uh, they ended up losing in fact outright five to four in extra innings didn't just lose the runs line but uh, lost outright by a final score of five to four and uh, we'll look to bounce back on Wednesday we got a couple of plays in Major League Baseball on Wednesday and again a free pick in baseball coming up for you here and we look to win our sixth straight NHL playoff release over at DocSports.com we passed last night as we told you on yesterday's video the situation favored Carolina but Boston's looking too strong so for us, it was a wash. We passed, but we're 2-0 so far between the Sharks and the Blues, and we're in action again on Wednesday night with our Game 3 side in the Western Conference Final. So go grab that and look to make it six straight NHL winners. All right, the free pick in just a minute. I know I said that I was going to jump back into NFL thumbnail sketches on today's video, but we're going to push it back a day, and because I am, I'm going to give you two um, AFC South plays or AFC South over-under win analysis uh, on tomorrow's video on Thursday. And the reason I want to do this, I don't want to take up a ton of your time every day. And I wanted to focus more on a lot of stuff that I heard yesterday on radio, on TV, in a sports book. I got a chance to sit down and chat with former Chiefs head coach and former Texas Longhorns, Illinois Illini, uh, Arizona Wildcats head coach, John Makovic. And while I was at the book here in Las Vegas, I heard a lot of people talking about props on the NBA playoffs, last night's NBA playoffs. Can I just say this? Listen, the reason there's a ton of props out there, like let's take the Super Bowl, for example. You've got, you know, 15, 16 pages of props from some of the books here in Las Vegas. The reason it's done is because they know they're going to get your money. That's why I always say, and I was saying it yesterday to a couple of people that I ran into and asked me about it. You got to play props that can happen whether your team or your handicap wins or covers that game or not. Uh, a good example, I mean, like for the Super Bowl I just mentioned, you know, there's a couple hundred props that you can find all over Las Vegas and offshore. I'm generally involved in about five, maybe six or seven tops because I'm picking props that can happen even if my handicap of the game is incorrect. And listen, I'm listening to people yesterday who are talking about, you know, oh, I love the over in the Portland Golden State game, and therefore I love all these over props with individual players. What if you're wrong with your over analysis as they turned out to be last night between Portland and Golden State? If you're wrong in that, all those props are going to go down to defeat also. So my suggestion, my recommendation, the way I do it, and it's the reason I play very few props for any kind of serious money when it comes to basketball, is because if I am off on my handicap, 
Let's say last night Golden State doesn't win that game against Portland, but all my props are tied into Golden State winning or have a better chance those props to cover if Golden State wins and covers the point spread. Well, here's the bottom line. If I'm off on that analysis, all those props are off too, and all of a sudden I've turned 0-1 into 0-4 or 0-5 or 1-5, things of that nature. I see that mistake made way too much, and I'm kind of blown away that I still hear radio shows, TV shows talking about, hey, how many props you got? And I still hear guys tying their individual player props in with their analysis or handicap of how they think the game is going to go. When you're wrong, man, you've just multiplied your losses as far as your bankroll is concerned. So just a little recommendation or suggestion there. When you're looking to bet individual props, no matter the sport, Make sure it's something that can happen no matter which team is winning, whether it's, gonna, whether it's being played out to be a high total, high scoring game or low scoring game. Because again, if you're wrong and you pile on props that just coincide with your handicap, you are going to multiply your losses in a hurry as far as your bankroll is concerned. Just a little recommendation, a little suggestion after doing this for some 25 years. And trust me, I found out the hard way in my early couple of years in the business of sports betting how bad that could be for your bankroll. Listen, we've all been there, but you got to learn from it. And at this point, with you guys, you know, going online, I mean, you know, you guys are finding a lot of good information when you go online and search for your research on these games. And it's at the point now where I just think that people shouldn't make these kind of mistakes. And uh, because of that, I thought it would be better to talk about this a little bit with all these NBA games, all these NBA props coming out each and every day of the conference finals. I thought that would be a little bit better today than just jumping into an NFL wins total. So again, we'll get back to the thumbnail sketches on Thursday's video, but just my thoughts on how to bet props, no matter the sport, but right now, of course, in the conference finals of the NBA playoffs. All right, uh, real quick again before I get to the free pick, we are in action. Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Raptors and the Bucks. I have a play there. We look to go to 39 and 19 with our last 58 plays with this particular selection. It is a side, and we look to go again up over $6,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. I'm also involved in baseball. Don't miss out on that. And again, we look to make it yet another win, six in a row in the NHL playoffs with Wednesday night's Game 3 clash between San Jose and St. Louis. Let's get to the free pick, and I'm going to look at uh, the matchup. I'm looking at a total, actually, and it is the uh, matchup between the Cubs and the Reds. I had to put on my cheaters for just a second because I was spacing off the home plate umpire's name for just a second, Roberto Ortiz. The thing about Roberto Ortiz is he's gone over 8-2-1, eight, eight games over, two games under, one game a push in his last 11 trips behind home plate, and while that doesn't automatically make me jump on an over when I see an, an umpire, you know, trending a certain way, it certainly is something I look at when everything else is pointing to the over for me. And with Roberto Ortiz, you're talking about a home plate umpire who has a wide strike, excuse me, has a narrow strike zone. So the pitchers don't get the calls they sometimes do when other umpires are behind home plate. Besides that, we've also got Darvish, who is a human walk machine this year, as you know, uh, just giving up free pass after free pass, giving up home runs. I think it's eight like in his last 36 innings. And then you've got Gray going for the Reds. Gray started out well this year, uh, but he's not doing too hot over his last few starts. And his ERA at home is upwards of 4.7 in that neighborhood. With the way the Cubs hit, with the way the Cubs score runs, Cincinnati doing a decent amount as far as what they've been doing at the plate of late. I think you're going to see a game that goes over the posted total and right now that total is nine so the reds and the cubs with darvish taking on gray we like it to go over that is our free pick as we look to get back in the win column losing here last night look to get back in the win column with our free picks here on the videos on a wednesday again over the total between the cubs and the reds all right, guys, uh, listen, don't forget about that $60 free account. If you're looking to do a trial run with DocSports.com, real cool way to do it. And it all starts, again, by clicking on the link below the video. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We certainly are, are appreciative of those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Wednesday in the win column right back here Thursday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.